got two quarterbacks, or are you, are you sticking with the one, or how do you? I mean, we definitely got two quarterbacks. There, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, we're we're just now getting into the game plan. Um, you know, so w- whether we play both or not, you know, I I, I don't know that. Uh, Cliff's definitely our starter, and we'll we'll see how things continue to to develop through the game game plan. But I, I think they both are uh, very good players, have their their own uh, specialty area, and um, you know, I, I liked what Six did when he came in the game Saturday night, and then I I loved how Cliff came back in and, and kind of took the game over. So blitzing a lot, did did, did Six perform better against the blitz or or make better decisions? I know they well, kind of took us out of our rhythm. Yeah, they, they did. did. Uh, but they took us out of our rhythm. Did he did he do well against? Well, the- they actually started pressuring more when when Six got in there. You know, okay. they they started bringing a lot more. Um, you know bringing more than we had in protection per se but uh yeah i, I thought uh six handled some of that well we, we didn't make some plays but really what got us out of rhythm early on is the turnovers and then we had some penalties that, that uh took some drives away i think six had two really nice drives and um you know we had an offensive penalty that kind of backed us up on both those drives the um going to <laughs> texas a and obviously you went to florida last year you have to have these games do you like these games um well, you asked the same question last year, too. Yeah, do you like them now? Do you have to have them, or would you rather have them right off the beginning of the year? Well, I mean, you know, hey, it's it's going to be a great environment. It's a great experience for our guys. Um, obviously, it's it's, it's a David versus Goliath, but it's still got to be a football game played, right? Um, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, these games are going to be harder and harder to find as college football continues to restructure and change. So, uh, we're excited about the opportunity. Uh, it's going to be an unbelievable environment, uh, a lot like Florida. You know, they've got – actually, they've got two of Florida's players that we played against last year that are very good uh, defensive players. But, um, yeah, I, I don't mind these games. I mean, I, I, I like the challenge. Uh, I'd rather play them earlier than later for sure. How big was it for your defense especially, which is the part of your team right now that's really consistent so far, it seems like, um, coming up with the big stops when they needed to, third downs when they were driving on you, or the interception in the end zone, uh, fumble recovery midway across the field, all those big plays, is, is that something this early in the season that's really encouraging? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I thought defense, uh, again, for the second week in a row, really played a really good football game, um, which led to us being able to you know finally get a little bit of complimentary football. You know, defense came up with a, a big stand. Uh, special teams came up with a big block, led to an offensive score, and then everything started triggering after that. You know, so uh, very pleased with them. There, there's some things we got to clean up on that side. It's not perfect, um, but you know, hey, a, a sign of a team that's getting better is finding a way to win a game when you're not playing your best, right? So um, I, I'm very, very pleased with that side of the ball. I think Coach Peck and Coach Brown have done a phenomenal job putting our guys in the right situation. Uh, we're deeper. We got better talent on, on that side of the ball than we've had a, a, in the past. And um, no, I, I um, hey, w- without that defense playing right there right now, that that would have been a tough game to come from behind. And um, you know, so very very proud of that that group. You touched on it too um, <clears throat> after the game that, um, and I know you wanted to check the film and be able to look over what the offense did. But um, after looking at the film a little bit now and kind of seeing things, what what do you think is going to be the most important thing to just kind of get the offense calmed down? And, and well, I think turnovers, turnovers and, and penalties. You know, uh, they had a dynamic uh, edge rusher. Uh, the young man could play it at, at Texas A&M. I mean, he's a really good football player. He will play in the NFL. Um, and, and we knew that going into this game, he was going to be a challenge, and he was. And we got out of position at times uh, at tackle, and uh, one of them led to a, a penalty. Um, you know, he wrecked some havoc in, in the backfield a couple of times, just, just beat us, you know, a, a around the edge. Um, and then the turnovers, you know, uh, once again, you know, we kind of start the game off and, um, you know, have a big play and get a first down. We get all the way down there and just outside the red zone and uh, have a penalty. And then we have a, two series with turnovers yet again, right? So, um, you know, that, those are things that uh, we're continuing to work on, but it, it's got it. That's got to improve. We, we cannot average. What are we averaging? Three turnovers a game right now. That can't happen. You're, you're not going to win a lot of football games doing that. And um, you, you definitely can't do that going into a, a hostile environment like we're fixing to. And that's one thing that they're talking about. They got to get better at. They didn't get any turnovers last week and they, they must have them. Right. So. Um, we we got to continue stressing that. Um, I, I think we eliminate the turnovers and, and some of those penalties. I know penalties is part of the game, and holding the calls can be called on every down. 
Um, you know, but I think if we eliminate those things and uh, we're, we're back to moving the football like we were all camp and all spring. I, I like what we're doing. We're just going to be clean. Um, the defense looks completely <laughs> different, obviously faster. Um, but Boogsy being in there now for the full year, the fact that you can get a, a secondary and you got a pass rush. Yeah, kind of makes it a completely different throw, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we got some guys that, that uh, you know it's going to their their second year in, in the scheme. You know, Books is a great example right there, and 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 played some really good football for us a year ago. But um, now he knows the defense like the back of his hand, and it's just a little bit more quicker for him to to react. But um, he, he's a dynamic player, and um, it just shows that after you're in a system for one to two years, they they play a lot faster and, and they they don't make as many mistakes and. Um, yeah, I, I love what we're doing over there. I think those the secondary, especially, have been in great situations. We, we've got them in great situations that we haven't really, knock on wood, blown any assignments. You know, we've given up some plays here and there, but we've been pretty sound on the back end. Um, you touched on it. You said there's no sugar coat in it, that there is was some pressure. Um, but to be able to celebrate the win, and we saw the video of you in the locker room, and just being able to enjoy it with the guys that you brought in here, um, how special is that? Pretty special moment, you know. Um, you know, hey, these guys are busting their tail, you know, and and uh, we all need to remember we we do this for for these these young men, right? Uh, so to, to have them go through a very difficult season a year ago, um, come up short against a really good opponent week one, uh, having the pressure of being at home and hey, we're gonna go do great, and everybody wanted it to be easy, and it just wasn't. Um, you know, I, I tell you what, that, that speaks volumes of the character and, and the type of team we're, we're building right now because, you know, again, for the second week in a row, there was no finger pointing, there was no blame, and it was just line up and played our best ability one play at a time. Um, and it's a team sport for a reason, right? I mean, hey, we, we'd love to go out there and, and hang 50 points in the first half and be able to cruise to the rest of the, you know, the, the game, but that just that's, that doesn't happen very often, and especially for a, a program that's rebuilding, right? Um, so, you know, going through that adversity and then coming out with a victory the way we did, I thought it was great, you know, and um, being in there with the guys and seeing that on their faces is priceless. That, that's that's why you coach right there. And uh, you know, I hate it that some people didn't get a chance to see that because that that's um, – you missed a great opportunity right there to see what these young men are about um, and how they are bought into each other, this coaching staff and this university. It was a great moment for us. Players last week and even you said it, it was going to take one play, maybe one thing to kind of – Get them to relax and understand. Did you feel like you kind of felt that once you finally got in the end zone and got the got the break of the snap, and all of a sudden things started going? Your yeah, way? I felt that as soon as we blocked the uh, the field goal, right? <laughs> you, and, but again, um, you know, going back to the players, I mean, th there wasn't one time during the game that um, you know, we had a bunch of guys, you know, throwing their hands up in the air, and um, yeah, there were some guys maybe frustrated, but they didn't stop attacking, they didn't stop going out there and, and uh, you know pulling for their teammates and. Even at halftime, there was no panic to them. We, we talked to them about, hey, here's what we got to do offensively. Defense, you're playing great right now. We're going to put you in some better situations. And um, the, the guys believe that. And they know what's going on. And, um, you know, but you're right. I mean, just like some bad plays uh, can kind of, uh, you know, continue to happen, you know, great plays can spark, you know, another great play and another great play. So that, that was a big moment right there, getting that block. Your defense has been able to, even though you've turned the ball over six times, it really hasn't been torched on and, and losing those plays. You've kept them out. You kept them out of the end zone the second time. How important is it that, that they've done that sudden change hasn't tumbled on you? It's been great. I mean, that interception by Bugsy in the end zone right there obviously kept points off the board. They could they could have gone up by two scores right there, and then the block field goal. You know that that could have been a, a two score game as, uh, again as well. So, um, and it's, it's just another confidence booster, right? They've been in those situations. They've come out, you know, very well in those situations. So, uh, you know, that gives you confidence for the next time you're put in that situation. Just line up and do your best ability one play at a time, and um, good things can happen. A year ago, <clears throat> a year ago, fourth quarters, you got outscored 103 to 30. This year, you're up 31 or 34 nothing. Um, conditioning, you talked about conditioning all the time. How much has conditioning played into that? I think it's helped a lot. I mean, we, we've talked all off season about finish. You know, we did things in the weight room that we talked about, hey, it's fourth quarter, finish. We did things on the field running. Um, you know, so we're, we're in shape. Um, I, I think from what I've seen so far where we've really grown is just being mentally strong. You know, I think they, the guy's done a great job of, of kind of developing that mindset of, hey, we're going to be fine, just continue attacking. But as, as far as physical shape, I, I think we're a really good shape football team right now. I, I'm, I'm kind of sad this week's supposed to be in the 80s and then even low 60s. Like, I kind of where, – where's the heat going? <laughs> Is, is, With that, is it the, the depth as well? You're playing a lot of guys early on. 
but probably a lot, quite a lot more than last year. Is that another reason why the fourth quarter has been good? I mean, it could be. We're definitely deeper in a lot of areas. Uh, right now, we're we're healthy. You know, so that's that's a big a big plus. Um, but that, and that's the name of the game, right? How long can you stay healthy? <laughs> so, um, for, for you and your team um, to see the environment that was there. Um, I mean, I know you went to the swamp last year and you've been to a few big environments, but to have that environment on your home stadium, um, what was that like for you and the yeah. team during the game? And Southern's fans, too, being a part of it. Yeah, it was great. I mean, it was, it, was, it was a great environment. I think I saw last night it was the fourth largest crowd of the week, uh, you know, so at FCS level. So it, it was it was a blast, um, you know, and then the excitement there at the end of the game, you know, um, just added to it all. So. No, it was great to be back home. Uh, we only got four more of those opportunities, right? We better cherish them all. Um, but no, it, it was a great environment, and uh, I thought Lake Charles did a great job showing out, uh, showing up, and showing out for us. You want to last year against Florida? Do you want to do something different this year? I mean, that you want to keep? Is there different ways of doing it? Last year we were very vanilla, but it was the second game of the year. This year being the third game of the year, and a week before opening a camp. Yeah, I mean, like, potentially, wow. you know, like I said, we're, we're about half at the game plan right now. Um, you know, you can't throw caution to the wind when you're playing superior talent by no means. But, um, you know, sometimes there are some things you can do, maybe, you know, create a spark here and there, you know. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to put together a, a solid game plan like we had the first two weeks and uh, go in there and, and, and try to do our assignments one play at a time to our best ability and see what happens. Uh, I, I think they're a very, very talented team with great tradition, obviously. Um, but... I like the way we're playing on the defense side. Offensively, we need to protect the ball and, and move the chains. So that's what we're going to be focused on.